Okay, so I know I made a video earlier today, but I just read this story that really just just got in my spirit and disturbed my soul and I felt like it needed to be shared with everybody. So here it goes. So I'm on Yahoo and you know how you get the news feeds on Yahoo? And this story comes up about this college student who basically gets arrested for wearing baggy pants on an airplane. And it, it, the story is as stupid as it sounds. So this young man, he's a football player in Albuquerque. He's a safety, I believe. His name is Deshaun Marmon. He gets on a plane. He was in San Francisco at a funeral when his friends passed away. So he's boarding a plane to go back to Albuquerque when a air airline employee calls the police saying that this young man is sagging his pants and they're below his buttocks and above his knees. And so apparently as the story goes... You know, apparently the employee asked to pull his pants up. He refused. The police come. They said it took 15 to 20 minutes to get him off, and he was arrested for trespassing. He was charged with trespassing, battery, and resisting arrest. Now, just, and he, oh, and his bond, his bail is $11,000 $11, for all these charges. So, first of all, my thing was, okay, so when was he trespassing? He was a paying customer. He's on his way back to school. Where's the trespassing come in? The policeman, the sergeant that they did the arrest said he didn't openly threaten anybody. These, let, me, let me find his exact words. He said he didn't openly threaten anyone, but he was against the, the airline's dress code. So that's battery. He didn't put his hands on anyone. He didn't cuss anybody out. He just said he wasn't going to pull up his pants. What, you shouldn't put up his pants? I feel like if someone's coming at me like, oh, you need to pull up your pants, blah, blah, blah. So, it's not against the law to have saggy pants. Like, I guess, and I don't know the laws in, in San Francisco. I know in certain places there's a way you have to keep your pants sag. But if you're not aware of these laws, you I mean, it's one thing to get a warning and inform somebody. And then I can only imagine the way this person came at him like, uh, sir, can you please pull up your pants? No, it doesn't work with me. It's going some random person has to pull up your pants. I wouldn't pull up my pants either. It's different since, sir, you know, it's just dress code rules. If you could just, you know, pull your pants up just for a little while, that's one thing. But, uh, sir, can you pull your pants? People, people get this power and this authority and think they can just tell anybody to do anything. And I probably would have looked at her the same way and been like, who are you talking to? You know what I mean? So, that's my thing, first of all. And I kind of, I honestly feel like, and this could just be me, if this was some guy of a different race i'm not gonna say white or whatever but if it was someone of a different race with skinny jeans on and had their butt out i seriously doubt they'd have been as quick to say anything to this person it's, it's just crazy battery in resisting arrest eleven thousand dollars and then what gets me he's not even a bad person like he's not one of these kids out here doing anything he's in school he's trying to make something of himself and here these people come talking about he's trespassing and doing this and doing that. And was it really necessary to call the police? All this airline security you have. All, have y'all been to airline security? Like seriously? All this airline security you had to call the freaking police because the boy was sagging his pants? For real? I don't understand. I feel like it's racial profiling. I want to know what you guys think of this story. I, you can look it up. It's on Yahoo. It's um, grieving New Mexico safety hauled off plane booked for baggy pants. Just pull out the pain. It is bad enough. He just left a, a, a funeral for his friend. It, it's not fair. You know, a black kid with dreads and he sags pain. It's a fashion. At the end of the day, it's a fashion. Across the board. It's not even a racial thing anymore. I just feel like, America, you're too old for this racial profiling bullshit. Like, he wasn't terrorizing anything. Y'all can let people somehow slip away and put bombs in their drawers but just because this guy is sagging his pants shouldn't pull him off the freaking plane y'all should have been catching this guy this guy and this guy who y'all caught the very last minute by the grace of god but you try to catch him early by by sagging his pants and he went through security i don't get it i don't understand i'm not gonna try to get it but i just think it's stupid i really just i don't understand you know america's really tripping they really are so, he's supposed to go to an arraignment on Thursday. And I really hope, you know, he gets, he can plead his case. Because his charges are straight ridiculous. Battery, resisting arrest, and trespassing. And, like, from that story, I don't hear any of those things. And even the sergeant said he didn't threaten anybody. So, 
another thing to keep a black man down, I promise you. But that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. I just that just really upset me. Like that's retarded. But okay. I'll talk to you guys next time. Annie B out.